wat zie je eigenlijk als je ergens naar kijkt? Hoe vrij kan je kijken? Bij de geboorte is al veel van je blikrichting bepaald. Hoeveel moeite kost het om een stap opzij te zetten, zodat je vanuit een ander perspectief opnieuw kan kijken? Moet je dadelijk eens opletten, man? Let maar op. Ik heb mijn hele leven ook de andere kanten willen laten zien. kan een mens zien, denken en voelen. Om die vraag te beantwoorden, begon ik te experimenteren met LSD. Ik gebruikte LSD om te onderzoeken wat de stof deed met mijzelf en met mijn omgeving. Maar ik wilde vooral antwoord op de vraag... is de menselijke soort die als enige kan nadenken over zichzelf... en slechts een paar dimensies kent... Wel voldoende toegerust voor het leven. This tape was recorded May the 10th, 1958, and the young fellow who is going to do the singing in plain will announce himself. And here he is, in person. My name is Vernon Cox. I go to LeVake School, and I'm 11 years old, and I like to try to sing Birmingham Jail. Here's West Coast News. LSD gave a 20-year-old youngster a short trip straight down as he flew from a third floor window of a Telegraph Avenue building to the street below. Vernon P. Cox was the traveler at a trip party in his apartment. A police spokesman with some knowledge of the drug said he thought Cox probably thought he was a bird and just flew the coop for a short flight. Officials also said that by the time they arrived, any quantities of LSD had been disposed of, although the three men who attended the up, up and away party were still high. Cox was dead upon arrival at Herrick Memorial Hospital, and police officials informed his Europe-based parents of their son's tragic death. From what the police were able to learn about the last few moments before Cox's takeoff was that he was restrained several times from leaving the apartment, but just before leaping out a window, he told friends that, as long as I'm on a trip, I think I'll go to Europe. Angels in heaven No This is the center of the LSD religion in the United States. We have come here, as men have done for millions of years, to get away from the insanity of American society. We find God here in our body. We find it in flowers. We find it in our senses, and we find it in love for our fellow man and for all forms of life. 
This is a meditation house for the last four years. People come here day and night to take LSD and to find God. These people that you see here today are right now in the middle of an LSD session. They're participating and celebrating their religious experience. This large house is the center during the winter for our life and for our worship. Well, I received the message through the normal Red Cross channels from the Red Cross in San Francisco. What information did he get you on that distance? On this distance, the information only that my son had uh, was dead and the death from falling from a window. And no information on why and how? No information whatsoever why. We did not find out why until we arrived in Dallas. Oh, I can't remember exactly what the Dallas paper had to say. That was the first clip in we read. But the, the Tulsa paper is the one that I, I remember how they wrote this up, that he thought he was a bird, that the police or someone said that he must have thought that he was a bird and could fly, that he desired a trip to Europe, and this is the way he, he thought he could fly. Can you explain why you sent to Kelly? I just cannot explain why, because, as I say, pretty much a physical culture, see. What was Vernon for a kind of a boy? Well, Vernon was a really a fairly intelligent son. This uh, is a tragedy in that he did jump out of the window because Vernon did not smoke. He did not drink, and he had very few of the vices that the American teenagers have today. He, he's very much interested in writing. He seemed like he let this become his life, writing. We have uh, a few tapes of him reading poetry. Can I hear a tape? Yes, you can hear a tape on his poetry. This is our son Vernon reading his, some of his poetry recorded in Berkeley, California, two weeks before his death. Poem one, The Spinning Top. They keep telling me to go to school so I can graduate, get a job, and become a respectable citizen. Yeah, society wants to wind you up like a top and spin you in a single hole until you've spun your grave. I saw my death surmount the windfall rock and spinning dove into the mother's sculptured stone. Then down the dawn I saw the center groove sink in and lock anchor to night's gravity, heavy as a sun. Not even moons lighten the load, there was no zodiac. And in the centrifugal force-fed cell, the serpent tail whipped out a life and no one wept the birth. Why weep the death? We were just talking to this uh, young man in the white shirt, and he wandered by in the middle of an LSD session and said, why do you bother to talk when God's message is all around us? There's no need to fight. There's no need to compete. We're here in the Garden of Eden. Turn on, tune in to this wonderful nature, and drop out of society Warfare, competition. I don't really think we need uh, machinery.
we did, we always did for all of our children what we thought was right. They were all in church, going to church from childhood. And this, I know, is not everything because I think in the home counts first what your relations there. We always had close family relations. I shared their grief. I would try to help them understand why and how that could have happened in such a way that they might feel as proud of their son as they would if he had been an astronaut who had crashed or someone who had fallen in the line of high spiritual duty. Kunnen goddelijke ervaringen daadwerkelijk opgeroepen worden naar drugs? Geeft een goddelijke ervaring een extra dimensie? En lost die wel iets op? Met die vragen zocht ik de Indiaanse guru Meher Baba op. Altar Meher Baba says, be happy, don't worry. I love you more than you can ever love yourself. Baba, tell me who you are. I am God in human form. My experience of Godhood is continuous, without a break. But this, but those who call themselves God incarnate and say that they have experience of God realization, they are hypocrites. Those who say that they are God and have no experience of Godhood, better than them are those who do not say that they are realized and have no experience. Now, in India, sannyasis, since, and now in India, since ages, there are those who have been used to drugs. They are drug addicts. They are called, they are the ones who take ganja. Then they take charas and bhang. And they, have, they feel uplifted when they take these drugs and they see colors and signs and they feel through their hallucination that they have reached the goal. And that F false experience is also not continuous. There's a break in their experience, and that is the reason why it is not real, Baba says. Those who, those who take ganja and drugs, they get uplifted through the drugs, and then, in the end, they go crazy, mad. <laughs> I, don't, I have no ev evidence to believe that Baba puts down the use of drugs. 
After all, Baba hasn't talked for 40 years, except to say one message. Don't worry, be happy. Any followers of Baba, including his secretaries, or disciples who surround him as they do every great man, and attempt to pervert his message into some Boy Scout oath, or some new <laughs> series of virtues and vices, are losing the message of Baba. I listen to Baba. He tells me I'm God if I recognize it and I believe him. I listen to Baba and believe in him. He says, don't worry, be happy. Now Baba, Baba's checking me out. He's saying, oh, Timothy, don't take LSD. And I know Baba, he's God. I'm learning how to. He's just seeing if I believe in what I'm doing. As Baba knows that if I believe in what I'm doing, I'll be happy and won't worry. And my way of finding my divinity is a little different from his, but Baba will look at me with his smiling eyes and he'll say, go to it, Timothy. Be happy. Don't worry. Take LSD, Tim. Be happy. Don't worry. LSD kwam overal op straat te liggen en werd tenslotte verboden. Daardoor werd het moeilijk om LSD te gebruiken als therapeutisch instrument. Ik weet zeker, zonder LSD was ik uit het leven gestapt. In navolging van mijn moeder en mijn grootvader.